put this CPU in, make sure that everything lines up, everything goes back in the same way. I am not gonna worry about putting brand new thermal paste on it just yet. But I'm very, very, very uh, interested to see if swapping the CPU would uh, would fix this issue. I've been I'm in attack for over 20 years. I never had to swap an Intel CPU um, out ever. All right, so the moment of truth. I don't know if you have any money you wanna bet that this was the issue or not. Like every single component at this point has been swapped. Again, we already did the RAM, we already did the motherboard, we already did the solid state, we did the power supply. So let's plug this back in. I am I'm very curious to see if the last part will fix this or not. Hi there, Scott here. Welcome to the channel. Uh, we really need to work on this particular PC. I have a customer who needs this uh, computer as soon as possible, and it has to be this particular machine. It has to go out of state. Uh, I've been doing Dell Optiplex in the past 15 years or more. Never had a failed computer. This computer has the same issue uh, ever since arrived, ever since I hit the power button for the very first time. While we are in BIOS, it's fine. As soon as we get into Windows, and have a graphics card installed. Uh, we have all these artifacts on a screen. The screen constantly goes, uh, or randomly goes black, just turns itself off, then it detects itself. So what's wrong with this PC? I seriously don't know. Let's find out. This is the last day when I can uh, tinker with this. As soon as I noticed that there is a problem, I did the clean install. I actually went to uh, the Dell uh, Restore and restored everything from factory same exact issue as soon as i had uh, the windows login screen these artifacts uh, these little uh, lines you see the screen just went off came back and uh, it just goes on and off on and off uh, factory image restore uh, did not uh, resolve with any success i have a very same problem so i called dell uh, the next day uh, i got a call from a dell tech like hey i'm available i can come out in this afternoon so he came yesterday he replaced the motherboard and uh, booted up to Windows, everything looked great. Uh, started doing the Dell updates, uh, the technician left, and the next reboot, I ended up with the same screen. So uh, we did the clean install, went to uh, Intel straight, downloaded the latest driver and had the same issue right off the bat. So we replaced the RAM that didn't got anything to do with this issue. Apparently the motherboard was not the issue unless we have a, a, a same bad motherboard somehow. Uh, what else we have left? Um, power supply, the actual solid state and a CPU itself. Uh, solid state is right here in the back. So I'm gonna head, lift this up and take this solid state out uh, in here. On a standard, we're gonna have here the solid state up in the front. Okay, Let's pull these cables off. Now we can wiggle this guy out and we can take uh, the solid state out. I don't think these are encrypted, so I'm assuming this will work without do much. We might have to change the second boot. Uh, the, the secure boot for one time and uh, see if I can boot in. I'm gonna go ahead and put the screw back. Nope, the artifacts are already here. So moving the SSD with a fully functional machine uh, over to this one uh, is is definitely eliminating any problem with the solid state, any kind of corruption possibly could be uh, under Windows. So yeah, this is, and the, the screen is already off. That's good. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect this. We don't need to install it because we don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, one. Well, we got two, so we got CPU one. So that's definitely the one we're gonna hook up. And the other port is marked as ATX CPU 2. So it's the same i5 processor. I'm assuming it's not going to be any problem with this. Let's 
plug it in and let's go ahead and hit the power button and see what we have here so obviously the power supply was also look like wasn't an issue uh, we have a same exact problem so it's only the cpu left at this point take this cpu out there's a lot of thermal paste in here and i'm gonna put this CPU in, make sure that everything lines up, everything goes back in the same way. I am not gonna worry about putting brand new thermal paste on it just yet. That will come when we figure it out if this is the issue or not. I'm very, very, very uh, interested to see if swapping the CPU would uh, would fix this issue. I've been I'm in attack for over 20 years. I never had to swap an Intel CPU um, out ever. All right, so the moment of truth. I don't know if you have any money you wanna bet that this was the issue or not. Like every single component at this point has been swapped. Again, we already did the RAM, we already did the motherboard, we already did the solid state, we did the power supply. So let's plug this back in. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn it on. I am I'm very curious to see if the last part will fix this or not. All right. Look at that. Look at that. The CPU. I have not seen a faulty CPU in the past two decades or after. I, I never seen a CPU being failed. And I guess the password right. Look at that too. All right. So let's just check and make sure that uh, the video card is actually showing as a real deal before we get uh, too excited in here. So device manager and uh, let's look at display adapters. Yeah, that's the Intel 770. So it's definitely the CPU. First Optiplex failed, uh, first CPU failed life. Uh, it's talking to a Dell tech, he was a very nice person. And uh, I asked him like, do you uh, like he's he's been doing this for a, for a long time too? So I asked him, like, do you ever get surprised by anything a customer can say that is wrong with the PC? And he starts laughing. He's like, no, like it's like it's like I seen and I heard everything uh, like already. And uh, and I, I was telling him like when a customer says like you probably think I'm crazy, but I think uh, I have a problem uh, with this PC. Uh, this and that. And I always I always uh, tell the customers like no. Uh, I, I believe anything you say and a complete opposite in the same time because I've seen it. This is how it works and this is IT. The other funny thing is the tech was here. He re replaced the motherboard. We reinstalled Windows from scratch. So at the first boot, he's padding the, uh, <laughs> the case, the PC. And I start laughing because I do the same thing but with a monitor. I pet the monitor. It's like, you're going to be okay. Like, you're going to be all good. And the clients are always like asking, like, what do you do? You're petting the monitor? It's like, yeah. Like, I, I guess you didn't do that before you called me. That would fix it. And uh, it's just fun. It's just fun. Like, I mean, I was also stalking with the tech. Like, you've been doing this for 20 years. And I st I'm still excited. I'm still excited to see, like, can we fix it? How fast can we fix this? And what's going to be the answer? It's like a game. I still excited to do any kind of work like can i fix it can i figure it out well thank you so much for watching this video uh and uh i'm running a little giveaway i'm gonna give this a new inspiron laptop away for one of you here in the united states and all you have to uh, do is send me an email just to this particular email address in a forms like this and put cpu cpu in a subject line and then you are entered i just need a partial shipping address for future verification. It's the house number and the name of the street. No state, no zip code, no town needs to be provided. 
only just this so I can verify that you are not a scammer, you are not impersonating the real winner, uh, so I can send this out. I will not uh, mail you, email you, call you, or any of that uh, unless you are a, a winner, and I'm gonna, only going to do it uh, just email one time. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Scott's out.